All right, guys, we are back and we are finally working through our last section of gear uh, before we get to the good stuff, which is the food. Um, so we've been through our pack and our rain cover, our sleep systems, our pack clothing, our worn clothing and gear, our optics, our weapon, uh, our miscellaneous gear, our water filtration, uh, our cook kit, and now we're coming down to some safety gear and just necessities that you should have on any trip, um, whether it's a, a day hunt, uh, a three day hunt, a five day, a nine day, a 10 day, whatever the case may be. Um, so one of the first things I wanted to explain is our safety gear compared to the GoHunt.com safety gear is far and wide much much different um, so I'm gonna give you the pricing up front and the weight up front but this way it gives you something to think about so you've been hearing me talk about weight you know weight is a big thing um, but for us safety is a much bigger thing so on the gohunt.com list they were at uh, 8.17 ounces and $78. Okay, we were at 24 ounces and $174. Um, so yeah, we're higher in weight, we're higher in price, but there's very, very specific reasons. Um, one is safety gear includes first aid. Okay, you're in the middle of nowhere. You have to rely on satellite communication because most cell phones will not work anywhere in the backcountry if you're in the backcountry. Um, you know, if you're just a few miles off the road and you can get back to your truck in under a day, um, you pr may have cell phone service and you probably don't need a crazy first aid kit. Um, you know, if you can get, if, if you or somebody you're with can get back to a vehicle where there's, you know, a, a true first aid kit, okay. Yeah, you don't need to go uh, about what we're going to tell you now. Um, but if you're in the backcountry, backcountry, um, you know, you look at these outfitters that are out there, they're doing pack trips or taking guys, you know, 15 miles, 20 miles deep. Um, there's a, an actual first day kit available um, because you're in the middle of nowhere. You have weapons, um, whether it's a bow and you have broadheads and you slip and fall and you have an arrow knocked and you stab yourself in the leg or cut an artery with a broadhead, a little tiny bag of band-aids isn't gonna do you much. Um, same thing, you're out there on a rifle hunt. God forbid something weird happens and you get shot, okay? A little Ziploc bag full of band-aids is not gonna cover anything. So on their list with their first aid kit, it was literally a Ziploc bag with some miscellaneous first aid equipment in it. Um, let's see here. It was literally two ounces of first aid equipment. So a handful of band-aids, maybe some Advil. Um, you know, you don't have much to work with. For us, um, coming from the past that I've had in this in the hunting and fishing industry, I worked with a lot of guys that we would be doing a demo shoot or something somewhere, and they literally had coordinates up that God forbid something happened a helicopter can get there in time to get somebody who was wounded by a ricochet uh, a gunshot wound anything to that extent not only did they have like a full true like EMS EMT first aid kit in their vehicle God forbid they couldn't get an ambulance there fast enough to take care of something they literally had coordinates so a helicopter can come in and fly somebody out okay you probably don't have the ability to do so uh, unless you can get a hold of the ranger station or wherever you may be on your hunt um, to get a helicopter to come in and get you. And unfortunately, in the backcountry, depending on where you are, it might be a little bit of a trek to get you to where that helicopter can land. So, that being said, this is the MyMedic range kit. Okay, this thing is. Everything you will need and just a little bit more for a backcountry hunt. Okay, number one, if you can see this little metal piece sticking out, okay, that goes to the front pocket, which is right here. 
and they actually have it strapped in there pretty good um, so that it doesn't come out by accident um, but that's actually a tourniquet so your tourniquet is right there okay most people are like why would you need a tourniquet uh, well as a wilderness first responder um, God forbid you slice an artery somehow some way um, you will want that tourniquet with you so that being said we got that one out of the way um, so you get into the rest of the pack and what's great is about the way that this is kind of set up is how it opens so you've got pull right here and you basically have just about anything and everything you could possibly think of in this pack okay you've got quick clot obviously it's to stop blood um, you have medical shears you have band-aids you have syringes you have saline solution um, you have tweezers you get splinter rock something gets stuck in your skin um, you have rubber gloves uh, so if you're dealing with somebody that's not your wound and you need to take care of somebody you're not getting blood all over you um, but this thing is completely set up has Advil all types of Tylenol type products um, there is aside from the common cold uh, there's no like cough medicine or anything in there but if there's any type of actual an emergency that you need a first aid kit for aside from just band-aids which are in here um, this kit can pretty much do it all uh, so this is the range kit the range kit comes in at 20 ounces you can buy it off their website for 70 bucks that includes the tourniquet um, biggest thing I could tell you is if you are going to purchase it um, please please learn how to use the tourniquet correctly this is not a cat style tourniquet um, which is what most uh, med teams have available to them so this is a little bit different style so please if you're again if you're going to purchase this kit learn how to use the tourniquet correctly um, and again it's got the quick buckle right here uh, does have a handle on it which is marked with the first aid symbol and it does have molly compatibility or oops sorry gotta unclip that but basically if you unclip this and take your um, webbing through you can open this up and put it onto the hip pack or uh, hip belt of your pack if you don't have pouches there um, so definitely definitely look at this they make some smaller kits this is the one that we would recommend for a backcountry trip obviously if you're doing a three-day type thing they do make smaller ones that you can add on to um, but for one money this is by far a great kit okay next we're going to move to lighting so you're going to have two different styles of lighting with you um, you're going to have your headlamp which is here and you're going to have your flashlight which is here obviously headlamp is so when you're working around camp you can um, keep your hands free use your hands for what you need to um, that's going to give you the ability to cook and do whatever with your hands and you still have light uh, so this is the sao 3 from lead lenser um, it's a three-way adjustable switch on top um, it comes in a white band with the green housing and you're looking at 25 bucks at one and a half ounces so super easy to deal with the next is your flashlight and you can sure go with any flashlight you want again these are all just recommendations aside from the MyMedic kit I would honestly say anybody going in the backcountry needs a kit like that but um, regardless again this is just recommendations so flashlights because they get used a lot I like using flashlights more than headlamps um, even when I'm walking I can hold this you know with my hiking uh, or my trekking poles I can walk and still be able to see I don't need my headlamp headlamp is kinda close range flashlight long range so this is the Badger flashlight uh, BX1500 and as I mentioned before I've been in this industry for quite a long time now um, I've seen umpteenth billion versions of flashlights um, and you always get that 
oh hey that one's really good or I like that one for this um, so these guys are a little bit newer to the game um, but what I do like is one it does have a cinchable wrist strap it does have your pocket clip so if you wanted to clip it into your vinyl harness your pock your uh, pack pocket uh, so on and so forth what's really cool is this particular flashlight is a rechargeable flashlight with a charge and not being used this flashlight is good for two years so if you charge it and don't use it it's good for two years so think about being on a backcountry trip now granted if you don't use it and you only use it in certain situations you should never ever have to worry about running out of battery with this flashlight uh, it has a bunch of different modes to it I like the way it's it's kind of set up so it's a little bit slimmer back here in the handle and then it widens out in the front your charging port is right here uh, and your power button is here and here so it's a tail cap and a pressure switch and the reason that does that is so you can change your modes so right now is give you an idea just how bright that is now I lowered it a little bit lowered it a little bit more one more and now I'm off and there is super bright where I just basically wet it myself out of the camera so it is a 1500 lumen flashlight with a tail cap switch and a presser switch to change your modes and to turn on and off um, super lightweight this thing weighs two ounces uh, unbelievable flashlight uh, I was exquisitely surprised <laughs> when this this got here uh, it does also come with the holster so if you wanted to run the holster normally I don't I just had it in there so that when I did the video I can show it to you guys um, it will go into the holster handle in and that way your lens is protected uh, it does have the belt loop here uh, or you can run it using that same belt loop at, on a molly piece so I can honestly connect it to the side of my med kit if I wanted to um, but that baby is 79 bucks, two ounces. Uh, and then obviously the big thing that you're going to want to have somewhere in the back country is toilet paper. Um, every hunter's dream is, you know, not ever having to use it, but everybody will use it at some point. Um, so that is also uh, in the safety gear portion. So again, we were at 174.99 and one and a half pounds against their 78 dollars and just shy of a half pound. Um, so even though we added a lot more gear, we didn't add a whole lot more weight. Obviously price is a little bit different when you're buying a med kit, something like that. Um, you know, this for 70 bucks, there's a whole lot of equipment in here. Um, so that is all of your gear. Um, we've been through the entire section of gear. Um, so the next thing you're going to see from us is the food. I'll walk you through, um, basically this will be the exact same on both my and Keith's list when we do the food. Uh, obviously some of these other pieces of gear, he's had some other selections. Some is the same, uh, so once he's doing his videos, we'll kind of earmark, hey, you know, he uses the same as I did on whatever, um, and that way, you know, it's less of a list that you have to, you have to think about. Um, so until the food... Get, get yourself hungry because we're going to show you lots of stuff um, from everything from breakfast to snacks right through dinner and lunch. Um, so we'll see you guys soon.